Today we're going to adjust valves on the Ford 5000 that we have. Um, the Ford 5000 has got the 256 four cylinder diesel. Um, these are actually really simple to adjust. Um, as you can see, I got the valve cover off already. Uh, everything looks pretty kosher underneath. There's no broken springs, uh, nothing wrong with the rocker arms. And it was a little dark in there, but um, which is good. Don't have to worry about that. Getting plenty of oil up there. Now, this one's easy because so you get your wrench right on the crankshaft uh, without any fighting. It's pretty uh, pretty good space in there. I actually have number one cylinder at top dead center compression stroke. As you can see, both valves are closed. The rocker arms are loose. And that would also mean that number four being the pair cylinder of number one on a four cylinder would mean that both valves will be slightly open, which is valve overlap. Now, I'm going to go over the other side and show you that I have it at top dead center. You, you can see in there, the number should be zero. It's kind of hard to tell, but the pointer will read zero, which means you're at top dead center on either one or number four. This is kind of what it looks like underneath there. Um, I actually put engine assembly lube on the valves that I'm going to adjust um, the first four because that helps me helps you know in the neck when you rotate it over that these, these are the valves I already adjusted and I just got to do the last four of them. It makes it easier if you know if you don't have a book to go along with, for example. Now I, I adjust these intake at 16 thousandths and exhaust at 19 thousandths. And I got my wrench here on the number three cylinder exhaust valve and as you can see a little bit my thickness gauge which I got at 19 thousandths you can move it back and forth pretty well it's probably about 10 thousandths or so off which is which is normal for the amount of wear that they get um, now what you do is you take your take a good wrench because it takes about 25 foot pounds of force to turn these uh, these valve adjusters on here and all you got to do is tighten it down a little bit. Kind of might have to guess, but I need to go a little bit more. Now, as you can tell, there's resistance there, which means it's at the proper clearance. And you stick it in between the rocker arm and the valve stem. Now that one's adjusted. Then you go and you do the next three, which would be number one, number two intake, and then obviously the number three exhaust, which I already did. Then after you're done with that, you go ahead and rotate the engine around until number four is at top at center compression stroke, and number one will be at valve overlap. And when you're doing that, it's actually you just wash the valves. If you can't wash on one side, then you go underneath the tractor again. Then you kind of check when you get that close to make sure that you're you're at the right spot to adjust the rest of the valves. It's actually a pretty simple procedure to do. Um, I think Ford recommends doing it every 600 hours, but I don't think you have to go that long. Depends on the application, but. Uh, yeah, this is our this is our 5000. Just doing a little maintenance on it real quick and I uh, hope you enjoyed my video and have a good day. Thanks.